it is not easy the algorithm just killed my channel like seriously so hey guys i am back with another video so uh, i just decided to do a sit down chit chat with you guys um today finished recording uh, my other video uh on this year you guys so i'm not really sure which video will go up first or whether this unit or this chit chat talk video so i really wanted to talk to you guys about me being a content creator me being on this yt platform so if you didn't know you guys i'm a content creator i am an influencer so that's what i do like on part-time basis so this is like started as a hobby you know you know just doing something extra on the side uh, just to get like some multiple streams of income you know uh, we live in the uk you know life is not easy first of all you know uh, i've been on youtube for such a long time you guys such a long long time um so when i started my youtube channel i was mainly doing beauty and hair like my natural hair like showing you guys how i do my hair braiding my hair and everything like that uh but then i discovered later on in life like probably years later that you can actually monetize your channel and earn something from youtube so um this is something that i was interested in i was like okay why not so let me just bring some light to you guys uh, so if you didn't know when you're a youtuber when your channel reaches a certain point or uh, views or uh, watch hours you'll be able to um, join the adsense you know program where you'll be able to earn something from youtube okay so when i started my youtube channel there was no you know uh limit to like uh, watch hours or you could monetize immediately like seriously you could monetize <laughs> immediately which it took me like so many years probably two years for me to start earning like the threshold which was 60 pounds because I'm, I'm in england so the threshold was 60 pounds if you don't reach the 60 quid they would never release any funds to you okay so that took me like two years just to raise that 60 quid that's how hard it has been for me here on yt some people are lucky just that earning straight from the way it go since the youtube thing has changed the algorithm has made a huge impact on my channel you guys like a big 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 impact on my channel i've seen a decline in views and in the earnings from adsense as well like seriously it's just gone like downhill i was doing a little good like the past you know year two years ago i was earning like good money i was actually considering taking youtube uh, like as my full-time employment but the algorithm came you know everything came things are just changing but i do see other like younger youtubers or other new youtubers their channels are just you know thriving um they post the video today they probably their audience responded to the videos unlike my audience i'm not really sure and i do understand that most of you guys don't even get my notifications you don't even know when i've uploaded a video you don't even get to see my videos which i don't know why why this is happening so uh yeah it is one of those things that is happening on white so the algorithm has impacted a lot of youtubers a lot of influencers a lot of content creators including my channel okay it's just not been recognized my channel is just like being buried down just there i see other big channels they are just you know <laughs> you know struggling just to get the views it's just been so hard so difficult especially if you do take your time to dedicate your time and put some content out and then you don't get the views you don't get nothing out of it like sometimes it does get discouraging i mean because i know i used to earn like three times more than i'm earning right now per month okay um through just adsense without doing all these um um other things okay so um i just wanted to let you know guys that's um that's something that's been happening here on yt right so how do you earn from adsense okay so um what happens is um google puts some adverts on um your videos so it's like advertisers they come to google they reach an agreement and then they put the adverts on your videos so when you see adverts on a videos that means that content creator is earning something from that video okay because youtube is earning something from that video as well and you will earn something from that video basically that's as simple as that so when people skip the ads and they keep not watching the ads do you understand when the viewers skip the ads and when the viewers stop watching the ads that means you are literally gonna earn less literally 
next to nothing okay um so youtubers or content creators they do earn when people don't skip the ads or when people click on the ads to go on the website that they are being directed to that means that google as well takes a part a percentage okay they're not gonna just let you um in everything like 100 percent. no it's not gonna happen they're gonna take a chunk out of it of your earnings okay so this is what they've been doing thank god i have signed out of um the mcn you know the network that i was signed on which was a style hall i'm sure you guys you know that i've talked about it before like style hall oh my god that was a nightmare i jumped onto that wagon because every big youtuber was like working with style hall they were going on trips they were getting sponsored so i was like let me join style hall maybe my life would be you know different and get start earning something and get you know all these goodies like freebies and trips and you know what i'm saying but it never happened to me for two years because my channel was that small i was not getting anything from them instead they were milking my money okay they were taking a huge percentage from my money google would take a percentage and um style hall would take a percentage and i'll earn like do you know what i'm saying like literally almost nothing I was so happy when the two years contract like came i was just like please sign me out i want out i can't stand this now i am not signed with any mcn if you see youtubers or content creators saying to you like a call to action saying please guys do watch all the ads please guys do not skip the ads it's a call to action guys some of the content creators really take youtube as their full-time employment so you watching the ads really gives them a boost in their earnings for them to be able to give you content you know what i'm saying Saying like if I do natural hair videos, I mean any video that I do on this channel, I go and buy the got to be glued, I go and buy the extensions, I buy some makeup for me to look good on camera, I go and buy some hair grips, some you know a lot of things just to make this video pop and you know give you the good content that you're here for like the hair gels and everything it's a lot of investment that we content creators put in a lot of people do some holes and everything like that so if you guys escape the ads it means the content creators are making literally nothing which can be discouraging i mean it can be very very discouraging because you feel like um you're not connecting with the audience it's like the audience don't are not really supporting you i know you will be supporting but watching and not skipping the ads is very important like um if you are someone who really wants to help that channel grow if you're someone who really wants to help your favorite you know content creator please guys do not skip the ads just watch them when the ads are running you go and get yourself something to drink some popcorn um you know just get some water i mean just for the second or you could actually leave a comment in the comment section when the ads are running i mean just interact or you know what i'm saying um or go and check my instagram page okay <laughs> uh, which is jane nashe so the ads really help us in something okay right so now i'm coming to touch on the subject that i am doing a lot of um uh hair reviews on my channel or a comment on my channel saying um you are so happy or confident doing wigs than wearing your natural hair um like you're doing more of um wigs these days than your natural hair um so i was like okay so um mainly maybe because if you have just joined my channel you don't really know um, i do get sponsored to do the hair videos every single week that you see on my channel it's a sponsored post okay it is a sponsored post which is why when you open the description box you see the links immediately like you definitely see the links to the website giving you coupon codes it is a sponsored video okay so i do get some earnings from doing wig reviews okay so right now I, it seems like my main sort of income is compared to the google adsense you know the google adsense like i said it is just and not <laughs> matching up with the numbers of subscribers or the you know everything like that it's just not matching up so if you see a girl you know putting out a video after a video after a video uh, on wig reviews you guys or clippings you know just bear with me guys your girl is trying to make a living okay your your girl is a family you know i do have a family you know if you are from africa you know how it is we do have extended families back home i mean like seriously 
you know how it is so i'm sorry if you feel like i am neglecting you on my natural hair videos content is mainly because i have to earn something do you know what i'm saying to keep this channel going i have to earn something i do some um wig reviews i earn something i go and i buy you know some uh, butterfly locks and i come and i give you content okay so i earn something to buy something to make a video and also to make a living so it's as simple as that but i do apologize if you think that i am you know um over saturating this channel with wigs is mainly because that's where i am making my earnings from right now it is not easy the algorithm just killed my channel like seriously uh, the growth has been super slow i mean <laughs> sometimes i just look at the analytics and i'm just like wow is this really happening like obviously i am here to make content for you when i started this like i mentioned earlier i was doing it for free i was not earning anything i felt like i was interacting with you guys more than now don't get me wrong i do appreciate you guys there are some people who i know would definitely comment no matter what i do no matter i put a hair video i put a wig video i put clippings these people will comment like seriously you guys are my loyal subscribers so grateful to have you because honestly i don't know what i would do you guys make me keep going and some of them they do follow me on instagram and facebook and i see you guys i see you like seriously you are the loyal ones you are the very loyal ones who are just here to support me and i do thank you so much for your support because you guys your support doesn't go unnoticed i really really thank you and i appreciate you all for your support but yeah i just wanted to get this video out for you to you guys so in case you're wondering why i am you know doing all these other things um yeah it's mainly because i am being sponsored to do them just you know for me to keep giving you some good quality content and invest in some good equipment and editing softwares and a lot of things goes through you know a video production you guys even if i do things myself i do get everything by myself just to make this video go okay um i got bills to pay just like anybody else youtube is still my part-time something on the side something that's gonna top up my earnings from my current employment um because i can't really give up on my work because the earnings are just not that good that's why you see sometimes i do like a wig sale okay because i do back to back wigs okay so uh, i do have like 20 wigs just sitting there um i do like this video today and then tomorrow i'm doing another video so this wig is just like forgotten about i don't get to wear the same wig more than twice unless if there's a particular wig that i choose like okay i love this one i'll keep it i'll put it aside like different um location to where i put the ones i'm gonna do a week sale i do the week sales mainly because i want to add something most of the content creators do it i'm sure if you follow most of the um, channels that do wigs you know they always do wig sales and when i see their prizes i'm like wow some of them they do sell their wigs up to a thousand us dollars and i'm like i am putting my wigs at least hundred dollars i think the most expensive wig i had ever put was like for 200 dollars because yeah. the ones that i make myself i would charge them more because i made them like they're handmade um and i put like loads of bundles and everything and loads of effort but then i would see people are not even supporting the the wig that is for 100 quid and they support this channel which the wigs are over a thousand and their wigs sell out like within seconds and i'm thinking what am i doing wrong like do i not have a good audience good you know i don't know guys like i don't know i feel like sometimes i feel like I, i'm not gonna say i don't want to say laid down but sometimes it does feel like that when you put when you feel like you have a good connection with your audience and then when you want them to support you they just decide not to support you is it is it because they don't trust you or is it because they want to hype another person you know um yeah it's just a lesson to you guys if you any of you ever think of starting a youtube channel it's not easy you definitely see um what i'm talking about okay i know because i always rush to see <laughs> these wig sales and i'm like oh my gosh a wig that they've reviewed um they've worn it costing two thousand us dollars and it sells out like within seconds i have a wig there for 100 150 200 nobody buys i do have uh, some loyal people like family who you know like they, they purchase some wigs i just don't want to think 
too much about it you guys but i will definitely continue doing uh, what i'm doing because i do have a passion for sharing my gift with you um doing hair has been a gift that i've been gifted with since i was young you know i loved doing hair i used to do hair in zimbabwe not for a lot of people but just people around me um you know just like that so um i'm not gonna give up on this channel another thing that i am not doing much on my natural hair you guys if you follow me for real and you do follow the conversations that goes on in my comments or that goes on on uh, um natural hair pages on instagram under my comments they're always saying hey, hair doesn't grow um the hair doesn't grow the hair doesn't grow the hair is not growing it will never grow uh or she has no ages it's because she or she manipulates the hair too much just leave the hair alone leave the hair alone don't manipulate the hair i used to do back to back natural hair videos but then obviously with uh, over manipulating your hair your hair will definitely get weaker because i naturally have thinner edges okay so i decided to like take a step back and let's see what's gonna happen to this hair i'm not over manipulating it i'm giving you one video at a time or one video do in a while um are people going to appreciate it i don't think so just bear with me guys like wow that's all i can say if you did not know don't think i'm neglecting the natural hair thing i will still do videos once in a while when i can okay i'm trying not to over manipulate my hair as the majority of the comments say that she she might over manipulate her hair so her hair will never grow um we're gonna try and see what happens but um like i've always said i'm not really worried about hair growth do you know what i'm saying it's nothing to do with length to me like seriously because i know myself i know my hair it will never grow like you know as long as that it will never grow it has never done that ever since in my life i don't want to lie to you so and my hair has always been thin and sparse and anyway um people do know how to talk here on youtube anyway we do have a lot of keyboard warriors who just have to come and attack someone they don't really know whether that person really knows that or the, it affects the other person like these days i don't even check these natural hair pages anymore I, they see, I see them tagging me and i'm just not gonna bother i do comment sometime like recently i did comment on a big natural hair page on instagram uh, they posted reposted one of my videos and someone was like how come her hair never grows so thank god this uh page was like what if she likes her hair short and i was like yeah what if i like my hair short i've recently cut my hair again so it's not like my hair has stopped growing i i cut it to a fade i did a fade haircut so i am starting again so maybe i like my hair short i mean you would never know but the comments oh my god i just don't bother reading the comments on the natural hair pages because uh, that's where i get a lot of trolls a lot of uh, bad comments and i just don't want that to you know to I just don't want that to affect my mind and my peace i just stay away uh they tag me i go on the post i like i don't scroll down i will never scroll down because what you see down there oh my god it's a hell lot of mess some keyboard warriors some people who just hate you like in this pandemic people are still trying to be shady and you know bringing someone down i mean like seriously guys when is this going to stop and people who do this mainly are people of color do you know what i'm saying we bring each other down anyway i'm talking too much um so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to thumbs up this video also comment share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now